Black it. Black it. Black it. Stupid sped black it. Black it. Black it has changed a lot over the months I've been here. And just by looking at my old video on Black It, you can see yourself that a lot has changed. Since I'll be posting my new One Token series, subscribe for that, I wanted to get everyone back onto the gist of Black It. The raw definition is, the first ever open source Black It private server created by Zotic written entirely in Node.js. Phew, that's a mouthful. Let's go to login. Upon logging into stats, you can already see the changes. Unlike my old video, there aren't a gazillion buttons up top. Only the view stats button to see other people's stats and the trade button so you can trade blocks and tokens of other people. Plus, now there's friending so you can connect yourself to the community members that you like. Heading down to the leaderboard, nothing has really changed besides that I'm in fourth place. And this button up top can switch between the coins and the XP leaderboard. Now chat, also nothing much changed. You have Global, the most active of them, Trading, which is basically a ghost town, Bot, where you can play around with Confidence, the bot, which, fun fact, is more active than the trading channel, and Staff, probably the least active, as only Staff can access it. Next is the Market, exactly the same as Blookit's, except it has 10 times the amount of packs. Last time I reviewed this, multiple packs weren't here, such as My, Music, and Summer Pack, along with multiple blooks, such as the Kraken Blook and the Envy Blook. Blooks. Pretty self-explanatory, as it's pretty much the same as Blookit's. Nothing has changed, besides that now, I have almost all the blooks in the game. This is where you can see your blocks after you trade slash buy slash open them and you can sell them for raw price or list them on the bazaar for your own price for other people to buy. This is the bazaar, one of the other features besides trading that makes Blackit just that much better than Blookit. Here you can see what blocks you've listed mentioned okay. before and see other people's listings. Using the expansive search bar and packs up top, you can find the book you need, and if someone listed it, you can buy it for the asking price. You can also click this button, which will change from blocks to boosts. Boosts are basically multipliers that change the percentage of pulling a book in the market for a certain amount of time. For example, a 3 hour multiplier can be a 2x, which will make the chances of pulling, say, a king, 2 times better. Inventory is basically where you can see what boosts you have, and if you have them, then you can use them. Then is the panel. This page is dedicated to only staff members, so they can mute slash ban people and accept forms that come in from people wanting to join Blackit. If you don't want to be a staff member though, this won't show up for you. Second to last is settings. Here's where you can see your username, role, what time you joined, what plan you have, basic or plus, profile changes, trade and friend requests, and if you're plus like me, you can change your username or chat color. Lastly is the news, which isn't even really a page. Upon clicking it, a pop-up will appear on the right. This will pop up whenever there's news, such as a new pack release or update, or whenever you click on it. Bonus update, for this won't appear on Blackit during the time of this video, but the clans update will show up on September 18th, 2023, or even earlier. It's basically where you can create groups and get people to join into it. Again, this won't be released during the time of this video, but just a heads up. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see my new one token series, subscribe. Happy blocking.